Okay, so this video is about uh, clipping the tip of your machine-made cigars. And I'm told or asked all the, all the time and told all the time, I don't smoke machine-made cigars because they're bitter. Well, the reason they're bitter is you're not clipping the tip. All machine-made cigars come pre-punched. Right? Can you see that? We all know this. And most of, of, of the people I know just you know, stick them in their mouth and light them up. I always clip the tip. All right, I open it up. And the reason I do that is because I don't want the tar buildup that comes from the regular pre-punched hole in the cigar. So what we're going to do is I'm going to light up two of these Perfectos. These are Swisher Sweets. And I'm going to show you about the tar. Got that swish of sweetness. All right, now I'm going to light up the one that I cut the end or clipped the tip. Number one, the draw is better. So I'm going to take a few puffs off this, go back to the other one. Now, it's funny. Today, I smoked uh, two acid cigars, and you talk about sweet and infused. Three times the sweetness of a Swisher, and they were really expensive. I mean, I got the 20th anniversary, and then I got one called Rome. And um, the infused, what they use to infuse the tobacco with, I have no idea. A lot of botanicals, I would think, and um, the wrapper just tastes sugar-coated. All right, going back to the uh, regular punched out swisher. As always, that uneven burn and flaking on the tobacco. That's from the chop. That's, that's from the way they make them. And um, the only cigar that doesn't do that is the White Owl and the... Uh, Oh, what's the sister cigar? William Penn. They're both made by the same people, same factory in the Dominican Republic. Okay, moving on. This is my one that I clipped the tip on. A little bit more even burn. Don't know why. Yeah, those, uh, those acids, I can smoke maybe one a week, especially the Rome. The 20th anniversary one was a little less sweet, but it was a Maduro. Okay, switching cigars again to the tip, the one that's punched. And wow, is that ash just flaking apart. I think they flake more when it's a Perfecto than when it's a, a Blunt. Uh, but they do flake and they do run uneven. That's actually burning pretty nicely. Now this is a fresh pack and I've also found that out. When you buy machine-made cigars, don't, don't wait. You, you smoke them. You don't age them. You don't put them in your humidor. You just smoke them. Now there is an exception to that rule and I'm doing it right now. I sent 50 cigars to a guy in um, England, and they taxed them almost 200 pounds for those cigars, and he just didn't pick them up, so they sent them back to me. So that took six months going over and coming back. <coughs> so now I've got 50 King Edwards in my humidor because I tried one when they got back to me, and they were horrible. So I'm seeing if I put them in the humidor for, I don't know, 60 days, 90 days, if that uh, makes them any better. All right, going back to the one that's punched, or excuse me, the one I clipped. A 
Much better smoke output when you clip the tip. This one's burning very nicely. I mean, it's still flaking, but, you know, that's just the nature of the beast with machine-made cigars. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, look at the ends, okay? And I'm going to have to try and put this between my legs. And let's see if I can get it to stay. On my hand is the tar, all right? Every time I go to smoke this, I get tar, all right? That's bitter. That's nasty. Tastes like shit. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the one that I cut. Okay, different spot. There is no tar. That's just wetness on my, on my hand. So that's why I always clip the tip, regardless of the fact that it's machine made. Give it a good clip, not a whole bunch, but, you know, open it up some and you won't have that tar buildup problem or that bad taste. All right, we're at six minutes and 17 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and call this. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if what I say is true. And uh, if you don't clip the tips, now try it and see what happens and comment for me. All right, do appreciate it. Have a great night. Good night.